Did NVIDIA justify the rally we've seen in these stocks and the broad market? Let's bring in Deepwater Asset Management's Gene Munster. Get some thoughts. Gene, a lot of uh, four-digit targets around today. You got any problem with that? I'm good with that, Carl. I think that we're going to see in excess of 1,000 probably a year, two years out here. But when I think about those price targets, I think it's important just to quickly step back and think about NVIDIA's business before we get too carried away is it's a boom and bust business. In the three quarters prior to this AI liftoff, the business was down on average 17% a quarter. That wasn't, a, that wasn't that long ago. The three quarters since then, of course, it's up 200% on average, which really the central question about those price targets comes down to what is NVIDIA's underlying growth? And I think uh, the answer to that question is, uh, comes to uh, what do you think the outlook for AI is going to be? And I uh, started my comments on a sober point related to this boom and bust, this scarring effect that their business has had on investors over the past five years. But uh, my view forward is that those uh, price targets are probably going to ultimately $1,000 plus prove to be conservative because AI is just that big of a deal. The one nugget from NVIDIA's call last night, inference, is 40% of, this, uh, of the GPU usage. That means that AI is actually being used. This is not hyperscalers building out infrastructure, crossing their fingers that something is going to come. We're already seeing adoption just a year into this, and we're at the very beginning. NVIDIA is going to benefit for this for a long time. Where does that leave those, though, who are still on the lookout for hyperscaler digestion, uh, shorter lead times, suggesting an eventual inventory correction, maybe one day? So what we saw with analyst estimates today, on average, they went up by about 20 percent. Uh, so actually, the valuation went down a little bit. But to answer that question is that most of the commentary from the sell side and investors has been that we're just pushing out this inevitable correction, this, this bust moment that, of course, NVIDIA is going to have. It just can't be that good. And again, I, so to answer your question is most people have pushed the bust out to 2000 calendar 26. They think it's going to grow around 20 percent in calendar 25 and then 26 be a down year. I'll take the over on that. I think this is going to grow 15 percent or better. And it's hard to imagine that we're just at the start of everything that is uh, going to be this paradigm shift. But I do believe that. And I don't think the bust is going to come in 26. I think this can last they're going to have a bus, but I think it's probably three to five years from now. The bus is going to be epic when it happens, but I think there's uh, plenty of room of upside until we get there. Hey, Gene, you know, kudos to you. You've been, you've been all over this thing and you've been steadfast on it. Um, but, you know, you just said something that's really interesting. And, and, you know, as I talk to other analysts and other folks who are, you know, tracking the gen AI space very closely, you know, we've gotten towards this inference phase. You just talked about how much, um, you know, NVIDIA is, is speaking to the usage right now. But doesn't that take much lower compute, right? So if you think of the first phase as a lot of these, um, you know, players in the space were training these models, the more inference we get, isn't it? <laughs> likely to demand less compute and therefore once we see better supply demand dynamics if there is a drop off in demand we might have that glut that you're talking about and that's potentially the sort of bust uh, the, the short answer is yes it, it would cause that if if you think these waves we just we're just going to have one wave an infrastructure wave the hyperscaler wave the ai startup wave that jensen talks about if this is the wave of AI, we're a quarter of the way through it, but it, we are going to have that less need for the GPUs because, like you said, inference requires less compute. If you believe that there's going to be an application wave, which is going to need more building around this and also more GPUs for inference, and what Jensen talks about, this heavy industry wave, I don't fully get this one, but he says that heavy industry is the largest opportunity. This is like big industry using generative AI. And the last, of course, is sovereign AI, which would be countries developing their own AI. If you believe that there are these four waves to it, then you're going to see this cycle continue where well, each wave starts to ramp. You're going to have a build out on infrastructure and then a dip down for inference to your point and then another build up. And so that's why this comes down to just a philosophical question that investors need to ask themselves. How much do you believe in AI? I think AI is a 99 out of 100. Electricity is 100. The Internet is 50. Mobile is 25. I think this is uh, we're just going to get going. That doesn't mean it's up and to the right for the next three years. There's going to be 
ups and downs in the market. But I think that this is that big of a structural change, and NVIDIA is going to benefit from that. In terms of metrics, there's a bit of a paradox here, Gene. And again, congratulations, because you've been on this. On one side, price, you know, earnings, in, look at the P.E. multiple at 31 times. It's more than reasonable, probably cheap, without question. The flip side of that coin is current valuation is trading 19 times-ish revenue. So something's got to give. I understand it because they have 77 percent margins. But one of two things is going to happen, I think. Either margins are going to contract in a meaningful way, which is going to ratchet down EPS, or you're not going to see, I don't think, maybe the growth in terms of revenue. What am I looking at incorrectly or correctly? Or how long can this last, I guess? You're looking at it exactly like you should look at it. And the question comes down to this duration, duration of growth. And ultimately, uh, that event is going to happen. There's going to be a dark day when it comes to NVIDIA investing. I think it's three to five years out there. But what you just described is exactly what's going to happen. There's going to be a glut of inventory at a certain point. Pricing is going to go down. It will get hit, double hit. We're going to be back to all this, this uh, scar tissue that investors have had. I don't think we're near that point. I know it sounds like I'm talking out of both sides, but I think we still got a way to go.